What's going on guys here? I am bringing you the AEW World Title Tournament here featuring eight wrestlers from the AEW roster. We've got John Moxley, Kenny Omega, Hangman Page, he's a freaking horse, Chris Jericho, MJF, Sean Spears, Dustin Rhodes, and of course Cody the American Nightmare. Of course on commentary here is Lance alongside me here as we are going through round one of this tournament here for part one. Part two will be round two and the finals. Damage retention is on and anyway, anything to say Lance? Uh, I think this is going to be a good tournament. Let's see how it goes. Kick it off here with John Moxley versus Kenny Omega. Keep in mind, every match is going to be regular old uh, rules except for count outs are off. So, so no count out endings, you know. Ignore the fact that it says UWA singles down there. I don't know what that's about. They met that some idiot messed up the writing. <coughs> Someone in the production team's gonna get fired. Fucking Kevin Dunn. Oh, I mean, no. <laughs> I think there's a guy back there named Ben too. I, I really think we need to get rid of him. Yeah, well, I would say Ryback, but he's in Mexico. <laughs> oh, then. So Ace, uh, tell me, who do you think is going to win this matchup? Uh, that's tough to say because, well, ob obviously this is going to be a dream matchup for people in AEW. Everyone's going to want to see this in AEW once uh, we get down to All Out, probably. So uh, I'm going to have to go with, honestly, based on how these two are going to perform, I think Kenny Omega is way quicker, so that's going to give him an advantage over Moxley. Well, I can't say I've seen a lot of Kenny Omega's work. I've seen a couple matches of his here and there. Uh, but I have to say, I think John Moxley really has the upper hand here, especially with his uh, groundbreaking debut uh, in AEW. He's, he's really uh, had a remarkable start. Of course, Mox coming through the crowd here, similar to when he debuted at Double or Nothing for AEW, and John Moxley is going to be here to try to. Oh, he is going to be here to try to take out Kenny Omega, much like he did at Double or Nothing. Can he do it here though as well? That's for sure. Right now, we're going to have a one-on-one -on -one match, so the surprise factor kind of gone now. Kenny Omega has time to prepare and uh, have a true one-on-one -on -one competition with Moxley. Got a cut on Moxley's hand? I'm not sure what that is there. There's some sort of marking though. Now of course out here comes his opponent. The cleaner Kenny Omega. Of course, Omega is going to have that B trigger in his back pocket that he's going to look to pull out. I would assume a lot here in this match, that running knee strike that Kenny Omega loves to use. He's going to hit it in your ribs. He can hit you in the face wherever he wants with that B trigger. And that is really going to be the difference maker of this match here. If Kenny Omega can connect with a few of those B triggers. All right. Just one or two of those and uh, it's all said and done. It doesn't take too much. And you can strike out of nowhere. 
Yeah, the, uh, that's a very dangerous strike here. I don't know if John Moxley has a move in his arsenal that can match the impact of the V-Trigger. No, not even well, to I mention... Well, I guess we're gonna find out tonight this is his real uh, first match here in all elite wrestling. You gotta take into consideration that not even, we haven't even talked about the one winged angel yet, which is what Kenny Omega uses to finish people. If he gets John Moxley up on his shoulders, it's, it's pretty much guaranteed over at that point. And here we go. First matchup is about to be underway. I have to say, this show is already better than our competitors' our recent uh, international show that they had. <laughs> I don't know what you're talking about there. Uh, <clears throat> oh, yeah, I mean, uh, anyways, a uh, clean break there here between the two. The ref separates the two, and now they're going to lock up again here. A bit of heat between John Moxley and Kenny Omega. They're going to get into some chain wrestling here. Moxley, I would say, is going to be in a disadvantage here with Kenny Omega when it comes to chain wrestling. Moxley is more of a brawler style, while Omega is more of a tradition, traditional wrestler, I should say. Nice clean separation. Oh, jeez. Oh. Right there, Omega bouncing off the ropes there. Moxley able to get some momentum, but not for long. Kenny Omega, here he's gonna go for one early here, Lance. V trigger! Oh! <clears throat> and it could be over quick. I don't think Moxley realized what he's got himself into. Rest on for the count. Uh, are you kidding Moxley me, Moxley? He's went through barbed wire. He's gonna saw through his goddamn lip. He, Moxley is not someone to take lightly, man. He is not gonna go down easily without a fight either. This match isn't no and disqualifications, is but I don't really think Moxley needs it. Kenny Omega might be the one who needs the weapons right now. Oh, just ramming his head into that top arm buckle. Moxley <laughs> continuing to put the offense here on the cleaner Kenny Omega. Omega able to roll out of the way. Like I said, Omega has a distinct speed advantage. And he is going to have to use that right there, but Mox caught him. Moxley gonna follow up here, kick to the stomach. What is John setting up here? I don't think it's gonna matter. Kenny Omega counters into a neck breaker. Kenny Omega with a very good escape there and a reversal, changing the momentum. The DDT there of his own. That looked familiar. And nonetheless, Omega is calling out Moxley here on the apron. The cleaner with a right hand oh. to the face. And he dropped him out to the floor here to Kenny Omega. Omega looking to follow up Moxley counters. And John Moxley, oh. Jesus. And this is where it can really get dangerous when things go to the outside of the ring here. We don't know what these guys are going to do out here. Kidding, there was another knee in the face. Though, no count outs. But they're bringing it back in the ring for now. Moxley goes for the pin. And the list stays alive. Hasn't quite done enough yet to put him away. Well, they have one count there. Kenny Omega done a nice job there of catching the arm of John Moxley. I don't know what Moxley was going for there. Maybe a figure four. Omega drop kick right to the nose. And now Moxley returns the favor, went for a crossbody, Omega moves, elbow to the back, wild, countered, man. once again, yet again, Omega scouts it. Still, Lance here, there's some good chain wrestling in this match, went for the drop kick again, this time Moxley scouts it, and now it's Omega. <clears throat> Mox. And I know we are still early on in this match, but it has been a lot of back and forth between these two. Oh God, and now Omega's going big here. Omega set him up and no! Oh! And that may be a game changer right there. That was a boot right to the side of the face of Moxley, but Mox kicks out at two. Well, Omega clearly didn't do enough there to put Moxley away, but I think he definitely has changed the tide in this match. But heel hook, heel hook. We know Moxley's had previous issues with that knee, with that leg there, and Kenny Omega's locked in a heel hook. Moxley fighting out of it. 
she is grabbing at the ankle. And now Moxley, arrogant as ever, just sends Kenny Omega off the ropes there. John Moxley in control, DDT. Oh, DDT going for the pin. Shades of the Dirty Deeds and Kenny Omega kicks out at two. Oh God, the Mox now. Mox is looking to put Omega away. Moxley, Moxley's caught him here. He's caught him. Death Rider. God damn, Moxley could just be moving on to round two here. And he pins Omega. And Moxley does it. Moxley knocks off Omega here in his debut in All Elite Wrestling. Holy crap, I, I was hoping we'd get a better showing from Omega here, but Moxley just had him scouted for the majority of this match. Surprisingly. Let's take a look at some of these replays here. I have to say, during the early goings of this match, it was kind of back and forth. Wasn't exactly sure who was going to win, but Moxley uh, managed to get in some good offense and wear Omega down. You know, um, with Kenny Omega never facing him before, maybe it was a little bit of trying to feel out and see how the opponent, his opponent wrestles in the ring. Yeah, I mean, just seeing that Death Rider, I think that's exactly why it ended there. A move's brutal, but nonetheless, uh, Moxley picking up the victory here in round one against the cleaner Kenny Omega right there. The Death Rider from John Moxley is basically an elevated double arm DDT. Looks brutal as hell. You see Moxley celebrating here, but it, this isn't finished for him yet. He got through round one, and he can lift up for a little bit, but uh, he's going to have to get ready for round two, whoever he may have to face. We're going to find out very soon. And on the match two of round one here, which is going to be between Hangman Page and Chris Jericho. Actually, we're going to make things interesting here. We're going to drop down here. We're going to get one match each for round two, and then we'll figure out their opponents. That makes things a little bit more interesting, right? Yeah. So we'll do MJF versus Sean Spears next here in the tournament. So, uh, anyways, let's get this going. Who do you got here? Well, I have to say I'm... Uh... I have not watched of, uh, a lot of matches between either of these two competitors. I would have to say, though, uh, Sean Spears, I'm a little bit biased towards him, seeing that I have watched the most of his content. Uh, he's definitely someone to look out for in this match. Uh, what can you tell us about MJF, though? MJF, his signature move is a Fujiwara armbar. Maxwell Jacob Friedman, uh, not not a very uh, not a very respectable wrestler athlete here. I mean, the heat between these two started when uh, Cody mentioned MJF on BTE on Being the Elite, and uh, and MJF basically just said fuck Sean Spears, and well Sean Spears did not take too kindly to that. Uh, of course, Sean Spears is the perfect 10. Here tonight, he is going to be looking to bring or to put on a perfect 10 performance against MJF. And, I mean, MJF's cocky. He's young, he's, but I wouldn't take him lightly if I'm Sean Spears. I'm just going to put it that way. And you can hear the perception, the crowd uh, is not giving him a very nice uh, ovation here. Can't blame him, MJF's kind of a prick, as I stated before. 
Any comments on his uh, scarf wears? <coughs> well, um, I have to say it, it does stick out a little bit. Um, hope we didn't get it from Jericho. <laughs> Are, are you kidding me? Uh, uh, well, according to MJF, if you ask him, I'm sure he'll tell you his scarves cost three times the amount of Chris Jericho's. But are you kidding me? Uh, MJF's got like a freaking granny scarf. You know what I'm saying? Like that looks like something like my grandma would wear to the freaking uh, local market to get her freaking pain pills. My grandma has handkerchiefs that look better than that thing. Before or at? Well, no, never mind. <laughs> We're not gonna go there. Nonetheless, uh, yeah, man, he just looks like an arrogant prick. He does look very confident. Uh, doesn't seem to be too worried at all about uh, his opponent here. His opponent, here we go. He is the perfect pin. He is Sean Spears. Do you know much like David Otunga, this asshole blocked me on Twitter? Really? Really? Maybe yeah. you should stop tweeting out such bad things to these people. Well, I mean, all I said was his tattoos look like shit. But uh, nonetheless, Sean Spears is going head to head. I didn't actually say that, but I'm going to say that now because they do. But uh, nonetheless, Sean Spears is going head to head here with MJF. Like I stated, it's the perfect king versus the man who sees himself as a perfect king. Well, I think they actually both do, but you get the point. <coughs> Will this match be similar to the last one? Will we see a lot of chain wrestling? I think we're about to get that question answered with a yes here, maybe. As MJF gets countered there by Sean Spears. Waist lock takedown here from Spears. We're starting these matches out very traditional here tonight. MJF counters side headlock. Now by Maxwell Jacob Friedman. Of course, you're gonna obviously give the experience advantage to Sean Spears. Spears is like That's a team something I was actually just about to point out, uh, Sean Spears, although he's just now uh, rise to uh, somewhat of a start, um, oh God. Oh. he's been in the wrestling business for quite a few years. Uh, he's 38 and uh, MJF at this age 23, so he definitely has the, has the experience factor. But do you think that will help or hinder him in this match? Oh, uh, so far right now we had seen it helping Sean Spears, but right there you just seen MJF counter him. So I don't know. I would say MJF's probably, I don't want to say he's in better shape, but he's probably quicker than Sean Spears. And now Spears, nice maneuver there from Sean Spears. Able to take him down. Of course, the winner of this will face the winner of Cody and Dustin, which will be the last round match of round one. What a rematch that is going to be a match on here to see. And now Sean Spears gets countered by MJF there, MJF Northern Light Suplex. So you said you're going with Sean Spears here for this match. I would have to say so. Uh, you know, he has the most experience, I said, and uh, some people may say with him being a little bit older, maybe he's a little bit slower now, but he's only age 38. I mean, he's no, like, 52, like other people uh, oh. who competed in other promotions. Ten, uh, ten, ten, ten. I'm sorry, I just, I just got caught up there a little. Uh, and now Sean Spears, even though the prick blocked me on Twitter. And right there, <laughs> you know, I'm gonna pick MJF here, just for, just, just for obvious reasons. And now an Achilles lock here on the outside by MJF. MJF's a prick, but at least he didn't block me. Oh, yeah, anyways. Sean Spears throwing those forearms there. Okay, side rushing leg sweep on the outside. I don't know, he might have hit the barricade there. That did not look too pretty. And now, pfft, one wasn't enough. Oh. Let's go for another one, this time on that side. Maybe good for Ted. 
Only if it's not false count anywhere. Maybe maybe the, someone should tell them that. Not false count anywhere, but you don't have to worry about count outs or disqualifications in this match. As you see, uh, they continue to fight here at Ringside. That's true. Like I said, there's quite a bit of heat here between this one. This might be the most personal round one match. I'm not sure. Uh, he did tell Sean Spears to go fuck himself. And now Spears is back in the ring here. And Spears right now is just toying with MJF, it seems. Going for the cover. MJF in trouble right now. He's on the defensive here. Sean Spears works him over, but right there, MJF able to counter. Uh, MJF needs to follow up with some offense here. Maxwell Jacob Friedman now out of the corner. What is MJF doing? Oh, well, this can't be good. No, God! Oh. That had to hurt. Goes for the cover. Oh, dive. Sean Spears needs to watch his arm now because MJF just set him up for that Fujiwara. And if he walks at it, it could be all over for Sean Spears. Could be all she wrote. He's got the arm, but Spears, Spears able to block, drop into his knee there, keeping uh, MJF from being able to set down into that. Now Spears has caught him, sets him up, neckbreaker, shoves him off with MJF. MJF, oh, come on. Break to the eyes. Oh, no. What is he doing? I think DJ looking for a side camera. Oh my God! What an idiot! <laughs> I guess MJF won nothing to do with the title, huh? <laughs> I guess he kind of just gave up there. Sam Spears, Spears technically winning that match after uh, MJF decided to <laughs> disqualify himself. Uh, what type of condition is able to go on? Yeah, what type of condition Spears gonna be in for round two and part two of this? He just got hit in the back of the head with a damn sledgehammer. What a prick! <laughs> Fuck you, MJF, you cocksucker! I mean, oh, oh, oh. bad quote. No, yeah. Never mind. Uh, moving on. Anyways, next. we're moving on here. Yeah, yeah. Uh, Hangman Page versus Chris Jericho, baby. Any preference here? Well, I have to say it's really hard to pick. Uh, you know, I've always been a big Chris Jericho fan, but uh, sometimes he can be a little bit too cocky, and I think that uh, might have an effect here. He definitely has the experience factor, um, but I would say that his cockiness might get in the way here. He might just get a little bit too ahead of himself and underestimate Hangman Page. If there's ever another one of these tournaments or anything, I'm putting MJF in a death match. Any <laughs> comment? No, I don't have any objections. There's ever, if there's ever an AEW, uh, I can't wait till we get to round two in the finals because that is going to be, of course, no disqualifications once we get to round two. But uh, maybe MJF didn't hear that, but I honestly just think he's a fucking prick. So, I mean, I, I don't know what the hell the deal was, but fuck MJF. If there's ever a hardcore title, he's being in round one with Moxley. Fucking asshole. And of course, now here's the match number three of round one comes the hangman. He's a freaking horse. Lance, what animal is he? Um, not quite sure. He's a freaking horse. Hangman Page. Well, I think we all know who your favorite is in this match. He's a freaking horse, Lance. That's a freaking horse. 
That's Hangman. He's full gear ready as he goes into war here with Chris Jericho. This, of course, is going to be the title match that will happen at All Out. We're going to preview here this in round one as Hangman Adam Page goes head to head with Chris Jericho, the Alpha. Chris Jericho, a legend in his own right here in wrestling. And of course, this is going to be a huge round one match. The Alpha, Chris Jericho, he's been, he's been requesting a thank you from AEW and the whole roster. Will he get one here tonight from Hangman Page when he beats Hangman's ass? As you've got to keep in mind, Lance, one animal is Hangman. Oh, He's a fucking horse! So you've got to keep that in mind. Of course, Chris Jericho would call himself a goat, though. Or the goat, rather. Keep in mind, this is not a, this is not a farm fight or anything. This is the horse versus the goat. And... The matchup is underway here. These two going to lock up again here. All these lockups in round one. I don't think we're going to see any of that in round two, especially with the condition Sean Spears is in. He's going to be out for blood. But nonetheless, a clean break here between these two. Hangman Page and Control Suplex to Chris Jericho. Lock up to say, not with a bet man. I think I would definitely bet on a horse over a good any day of the week. Well, the, the, the old oh geez, Fujiwara armbar right there. That's what MJF should have locked in the last match. Now Chris Jericho rolls through. These two going to lock up again. So far, I have to say, this is the best chain wrestling yet so far tonight. Yeah. In this tournament here is Hangman in control. Fight headlock. Punch right to the face of Chris Jericho. Of course, we've got a similar situation as the last match here. We've got an old veteran versus a young and up-and-coming star here in Hangman. Coming on the way, Chris Jericho and his friend out of the business has been wrestling for years and years, and it's definitely made a big name for himself. But Hangman Page, uh, relatively young, age 27, uh, really just getting started in his young career. Right there, nice German suplex dropped him on his neck. I'm sure he learned that in Japan. And right there, Chris Jericho counters with a jawbreaker with Vernon and Zaguri. Oh, Chris Jericho's definitely not a young lion heart anymore. Right there, four on the face. Hangman's got him up. Hangman Page sends him off the buckles. Of course, Hangman gonna have to watch out for that Judas effect. That running back elbow from Chris Jericho, that MMA style strike, gonna knock Hangman completely out cold if he hits him with it. Elbow right to the face, chop across the chest, kick to the stomach. That counter, of course, the difference between the. Oh God, Hangman taking him oh off his God. feet there. Strikes to the face. Great hands there, straight to Jericho's face. The winner of this will move on to round two to face John Moxley in a hardcore style match. So uh, to keep that in mind, Moxley might have an advantage going into round two. <coughs> Considering the match style and Jericho. Oh! Sheesh! Sheesh! He's a freaking horse, but he might be a ho freaking horse with a broken freaking neck after that. And now Hangman continuing to take out Jericho here. This relentless and this a vicious attack. Jericho, I think it's stunned right now. Oh, hold on, oh, Jericho counters. 
throw him over the Pariti side there. Here I go, chuffed him over. Hangman counters with a forearm to the face. Hangman Page. Jericho back in control. Oh, God. No! Oh, Jesus! Face first off the steps. Keep in mind, he just used the steps there as an environment. He didn't actually use them as a weapon, therefore, so therefore it's not a DQ. Maybe NJF should take uh, some lessons. A cold breaker! Out of nowhere! I could be in the here. Oh. Who can't? <clears throat> that was pretty close. Jericho, you can see, is frustrated. Code breaker out of nowhere now. Hangman Page counters. He's a freaking horse. Oh, God. Oh, God. Dead eye. Oh God. Dead eye. Oh. Dead eye. Oh. Oh, Jericho <laughs> kicks out of dead eye at two. Holy crap. Well, Jericho was dead there. Hangman's got to stay in control if I was him. I'd... Oh my god, Hangman, what the fuck? Oh. Dude, did you see that, Lance? He just topeed over the top and right in a footstorm right on Jericho's face. He's got to be missing at least five teeth. Oh my god, and he's going for the pin now. It's not a smart move, man. Jericho, your teeth are missing. Oh, my want to get the tooth fairy. Low kick there from Hangman. Now Hangman's got him up. No, oh, what a fall away slam. And you see Jericho grabbing his back there, Lance. This is not good for Chris Jericho. He is in a bad way. His face is rearranged, but Jericho still able to kick out at two. He's got to be missing some teeth. I said, I think five. I think I counted five. Might want to freaking, uh, holy crap, this match just heated up out of nowhere there. And now Hangman right now is trying to choke the life out of Chris Jericho. And I think he might have just succeeded. <laughs> now Hangman just continuing, man. He's trying to rip more teeth oh. out. This is sick. <clears throat> this is disgusting. Jericho's going to need to see a dentist. Jericho's hurt, man. Hangman. <clears throat> Continuing after the freaking molars of Chris Jericho. Jericho's caught him. Chris has caught him. He needs to follow up, but Jericho don't even know where he's at right now. The freaking ref might have to call the damn match at this point. Someone might have to stop this thing. How are either of these two going to make it to round two? Moxley's oh. definitely going to have an advantage going into round two here at this rate. That was brutal. And now Hangman oh. just drops him. Hangman Page right now is tooling Chris Jericho. Oh, blocks the elbow. Jericho hits him with one of the round of chop, a couple chops. There's life back in Chris Jericho. Now he gets his elbow blocked. Who the hell is going to win this one, Lance? Hangman with a counter. Hangman Page. No, oh, what a fool! Oh. Jericho code breaker again! Hangman is bleeding! <laughs> He's Jericho open. not putting him over, not putting him, putting him over, not putting him down there! Hangman, where is it? And I'm not sure if that blood on his face is just what Jericho's coughing up or if he's actually bleeding. Oh god, now Hangman going for the kill here! A second dead oh, eye! Oh, a second oh, dead eye! Oh. Right on his head! And Jericho oh. kicks out! Hangman looks frustrated! He just kicked out two dead eyes! That's, that's Hangman's go-to move! Oh god, Jericho just stomped on his neck! Oh god! Hangman might want to watch his legs there. I think Jericho's going to go for it here. No, Hangman kicks him off. He's going for the walls. Hangman Page. German suplex. Oh, <laughs> oh God. Jericho. He's setting him Not up. in a good place right now. He's dialing up the buckshot lariat. Buckshot. Buckshot lariat oh. connects. Cover! 
Jericho might be done, man. Two dead eyes and a buckshot. And that's it. Hangman moves on to round two. Can we get some help out here for Chris Jericho? Jesus Christ. He's missing at least five teeth, Lance. Gonna put the tooth fairy out of business. Damn, and so now we know Hangman Page moves on to face Moxley in round two. Uh, I, do we even, even want to pick who has the advantage there? But, I mean, well, we've got to finish off part one here wow. first as Cody goes head-to-head -head with Dustin Rhodes in the final match of round one. But Jesus Christ, Hangman Page coming out here with a couple dead, sh dead eyes there. And then a buckshot later. I, I think we really need to get some medical assistance for Jericho here. So Lance, I'm going to ask you again. What animal is he? A horse. You He's a freaking horse. horse. Man, Adam Take that, Pock. Okay, and the final match of round one is up here next as Cody goes head to head with Dustin Rhodes. Brother versus brother. That is going to be uh, personal here to say the least. Uh, who do you got the advantage here going into this one? This is really going to be a tough match to call because when you're, when you're fighting family, uh, really the emotions can get involved. Obviously, uh, Cody is still young and in his prime. Dustin has a lot of experience over the years. And I have to say, you know, when you're fighting against family, it's really just a, a tough scenario. It really could be either of them. Okay. This is the final match of round one here of part one, and then we'll have to go to part two. Dustin Rhodes going head to head with the American Nightmare Cody. You got the Nightmare versus Natural here. Of course, the best match from Double or Nothing, so. See how this goes here. Did you say who you, who you gave the advantage to? I didn't catch that. I, I said it, it's really going to be a tough one to call. You have brother versus brother here. Uh, anytime you have family going up against each other, it, there's definitely going to be a lot of emotions involved. Uh, obviously, Dustin has the experience on his younger brother, Cody, but can Cody... Uh, surpass the shadow that some say that he's been in um, of his brother. Can he overcome that? Can he make a name for himself? <clears throat> the following contest is a championship first round match. Making his way to the ring from Austin, Texas. We Dustin Rhodes. I don't believe he has any doubt inside his mind that he can beat his brother, so he says. But you have to wonder what he's thinking inside his head right now. That is very true. Uh, sure, this one is going to be a very interesting match here between Cody and Dustin Rhodes. I honestly don't really have a uh, preference here in this match. <clears throat> no thrones to break here tonight. And 
here comes Cody making his way to the ring. I spoke to uh, Brandy Rhodes backstage uh, earlier this evening, and uh, she seems to think Cody has what it takes to get it done. Obviously, she's going to stand by her husband, but uh, she doesn't have any fear or doubt. Yeah, well, I mean, considering past history, but nonetheless here, Dustin Rhodes one-on-one -on -one with Cody here, and the bell has rung. Dustin going right oh, at Cody. Dustin Rhodes right out of the gate. Something to prove here tonight as Dustin set him up. And no. <coughs> shouts out to and a little Dustin's bit of gold And Dustin's off to a quick start here, and he obviously wants to put this match away very quickly. And I don't blame him. The longer this match goes on, the more it starts to favor Cody. And I think Dustin realizes that. Okay, as he sets up Cody here and just stomps on his face. I wonder what the hell Dusty would be thinking right now seeing this as Cody counters here with a jawbreaker. And now Cody Rhodes coming. Oh, I mean Cody. And uh, nonetheless, nice bulldog there from the American Nightmare as Cody in control here on his brother Dustin. And now going to slam him face first into the buckle. He wouldn't want to open her up again. That would get, that would get ugly there as Dustin gets his face slammed off the freaking turnbuckle there. Shot right to the face, Dustin Rhodes counters. Puts him in the corner here. Counter again from Cody. And now Cody, Cody out of the corner. Is baking him in here, sunset roll up. Uh, rolls through there. Gonna look to follow up with more damage. As Cody, as he picks apart the arm of Dustin Rhodes. Cody not letting up here, not even stopping to breathe for a minute. Well, fairness, Dustin didn't either. He went right after him. So why would Cody? And now, <laughs> and now the tide to turn again. But here we go again. Cody reversing. Now Dustin with the reversal of his own. Oh, God. Just snapped him down off his feet there. That looked brutal. And now right into a headlock here. Trying to wear down Cody. The American Nightmare on the defensive here. As Dustin just wrenches on the neck of Cody Rhodes. Continuing to just wrench on the neck here. Jesus, he's just trying to choke him out there. Cody right back up to his feet, caught him with a... Jeez, just ran through him there. Oh, God, another counter here from Cody. And Cody oh. just closed lines him out to the floor. Oh, God, and he's not done there. He is not done Gordon. there. He's, from he's, the top he's, he's calling Dustin, Dustin get out of the way. No, oh, Cody. Oh. But he steps out of the way. Shades of Dusty there with the bionic elbow, but Dustin was able to scout it. Now these two are throwing hands on the outside. Counter. Shot to the stomach. And now Dustin set him up again for another neck breaker here. God damn, all those, all those other matches with a shit ton of chain wrestling here. We're not having any of that. Dustin back up to his feet, Cody counters, or Cody gets countered, rather. Dustin puts him in the, oh God, you don't think he was going for, oh no. <coughs> no you can tell this has gotten oh. personal here, Cody counters though, oh Cody, Cody set him up, crossroads! Well, that could be it. One, <coughs> two, and Dustin. Oh, but Dustin. Not gonna give up that easily. Dustin surviving here, at least for now. Dustin Rhodes with a counter. And no, oh, what the hell was oh. that? Cover! Holy! I think I just blinked and this one happened. Can we get a replay? Holy shit, that just, that looked brutal. <clears throat> now Dustin on the corner, oh. Miss Cody with an elbow right to the skull. Holy crap. Now Cody looking to follow up. Oh, come on. And now just ripping at the skull here of his brother, Dustin Rhodes, in trouble as Cody trying to rip apart his face. Now Cody rolls out of the way. Cody back in control. Anderson. Oh, off the ropes. They got countered. Now Dustin Rhodes sends him back into the corner. And... Oh, God. Oh, no. <clears throat> oh, God. 
Oh no, Brandy's not gonna be happy. Oh God. <laughs> I hope they're not having any children. One, two, and kick out. Well, they got Pharaoh, but that's, that's gonna be it. Oh, any more Pharaohs alone. Gonna be all Hudson. Oh God, now Dustin's gonna finish it <laughs> off here. He's got him up, meets you at the crossroads, Cody. Cover. One, two, and three. Oh. Dustin wins. He is moving <clears throat> on to round two. It will be Dustin Rhodes versus Sean Spears in round two. Holy crap, any comment to that match, Lance? I just have to say, uh, <clears throat> it looks like Cody is uh, still in that shadow, still hasn't managed to overcome it. Uh, Dustin Rhodes really, I think, just shocked everyone when he just comes flying out of the starting gate at the beginning of this match. And you see a replay right here, that was incredible. <clears throat> so yeah. many amazing moments from this oh, match, God. right here. Oh, oh, it's hard to watch. Dustin taking a cheap shot there below the belt. I mean, as Belt did say, uh, attitude killer on it. Well, he just went right below that and uh, just wrecked him there. Nonetheless, the uh, I can't imagine we're done with seeing these two fight each other, but uh, nonetheless, Dustin winner, picks Dustin. up the victory here tonight. Probably the best match of round one. But we're just getting started here. That's the end of round one. Round two, just around the corner here. <laughs>